I had to pull the blower motor out of the car because the air conditioner had stopped working and I thought it might actually make a uh, pretty good video. So I've put everything back in and uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to remove the Ford FG glove box and how to remove the air conditioner blower motor or fan motor. this all we're gonna need is uh, one screwdriver that's it all right so the first step to take the glove box out is obviously to open it up and if you have a look just here you'll find a little tab just in behind there and when you push down on that tab the whole glove box will drop downwards so we're gonna get that and we're gonna push that down you'll probably need two hands to do it it's uh, it's pretty tight all right so once we've got that down You'll find that there are, well, as you can see, one of mine's already uh, fallen out a bit. There are two clips. I apologize for the bad lighting. I don't have studio lights yet. They are quite expensive. As you, as you can see, one of my clips has already fallen down. The other one, it's, uh, it's a bit worn out. The other one's still clipped on. They're, uh, they're quite simple. They're just uh, for little, like, hinges. You just wanna pull them upwards and they pop straight out. And now the uh, compartment for the glove box is out. To get this surround that holds the uh, glove box in, we need to pull a number of screws out. We have one, one, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we take those, don't take these two out. I'll just adjust the autofocus so that you can see. These two, don't take those two out. They hold this in. They don't hold this surround bit into the uh, dash there. All right, now that we've got all these screws undone, we just have to pull this panel back a bit and there's a bracket just in behind here. Focus, there we go, there's a bracket just in behind here. We're going to pull this panel off a little bit and the whole assembly should all fall back towards the front seat. I'm just gonna see if I can hold it so it makes a little bit more sense. There we go, the whole thing should come down this way. So I'm just gonna carefully start by removing this little kick panel so this is just a simple matter matter of gently pulling it down ah right i've just i've just remembered you will probably have to remove this panel as well please ignore my dodgy wiring that shouldn't be there but still is you'll have to remove this panel as well which uh, is a bit of a pain to get out without removing this because just inside of this panel here is the autofocus not working once again. Because just inside of that is this little screw spot here. So you'll probably have to remove this panel here or at least get it on enough of an angle to reach that little tab. And once you've done that, here you can see the blower motor, this big black thing here. Here are the cords that are normally attached to a plug, which is plugged into it. As you can see, mine is not because uh, I had to actually cut my plug off. If I can just get the camera to focus down here for a moment. That's my plug. Yeah, that's pretty bad. When I posted that picture of the, uh, of the plug and how badly it was melted and degraded on uh, Facebook and Instagram, a lot of you guys actually messaged me saying that, yeah, the same thing happened with yours. So I'm guessing it must be a pretty common fault in the, uh, in the Falcons. As you can see, here is where your cabin uh, filter would normally be. And here is the uh, blower motor. 
there's only three screws. I'm just gonna move my light and squish down in here upside down. You can already see one screw there, one screw there, and there's one more just up the back there. You undo those three screws and the whole, uh, whole motor falls out. So I've got my screws undone. I can now just get the blower motor and the whole thing just falls away. And uh, there we are. FG blower motor. So as you can see, the whole process is fairly simple. Once you uh, get used to taking the glove box out, um, with only three screws holding the thing in, it takes like five minutes. You can get a new blower motor for less than $200 from Repco or a store like that. And uh, do the whole, whole thing yourself rather than getting charged uh, two or three times as much from a uh, workshop to do it. Anyway guys, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow on Facebook and uh, Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.